Hey guys, continuing the Windows 8 series yet again, we have another video, uh, Windows 8 computer here, as you can see, the Metro Experience. And th in this video, we're going to highlight the Twitter application. Uh, so that is right here under the news application, Tweet at Rama. I like to pronounce it Tweet Rama. I actually don't know how it's pronounced. Tweet Rama, Tweet at Rama, the A is an at sign, kind of kind of punny there. Huh. Okay, no? All right, let's, let's go ahead and open it. All right, so here is the main screen. If you open up for the first time, it will ask you to link it uh, through a Twitter token to your Twitter account. Uh, if you don't know what a Twitter token is, that's basically uh, if you go to any website that wants to link to your Twitter account, it'll basically just pull up twitter.com. It'll say this website wants to access your Twitter account. You click the allow access, and basically that is all. And it's the same thing here, very simple to link. And once you do link it, uh, on the far left here, we have a timeline of all of the people you are following, their tweets. So I can uh, see all the tweets from the people I'm following there. What's happening, this is uh, the uh, basically your profile, uh, the tweets that, are you, that you are posting. Uh, so I guess I'll just go ahead and post the tweet right now. I'm recording the, recording a video uh, on the Twitter app on Windows 8. P.S. Watch, I spelled watch wrong, watch the video to see me typing the tweet. Okie dokie. So, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and tweet that. And uh, if you don't know already, my Twitter account is at Mike Bednarski. Uh, spelling right there if you can't uh, figure it out. You can also go to my blog, MikeBed96.com, link in the description, and there is a big Twitter icon. If you click on that, that'll uh, bring you directly to my Twitter profile so you could follow me. So there is the tweet right there. Um, and then if we're moving on to the right, we have a following pane, which shows all the people that you are following. Very, It's very nice and simple, actually. Uh, the, it's just right there. Um, so if I wanted to see all the tweets that Chris Perlow was making, I just click his name and here it is. Uh, there are There is no like refresh, screen refresh, where you have to wait for the page to load. It basically just comes right up. Uh, everything is on one big full screen. So <clears throat> so far I really like the, the Twitter app on here. Very easy to use. Um, so I can see the tweets he's tweeting. Uh, I see he tweeted out a recent TLDR event. I could go ahead and retweet that with the retweet button. However, there is no reply button here. Um, not that I see here. Uh, anywhere, not even on the timeline, there's no reply button. Uh, so uh, the only way you could really make replies in this application is in your what's happening here. Uh, just type the at sign and tag their name, like a direct message. Uh, just a public one with a mention, just mention them and then type your reply, but it's not going to show as a reply to that tweet. So that's one of the downsides of this. And then we can also scroll over to reveal two more panes. It's actually one linked pane though. This is your followers section. So you can see all the people that are following you and just click on their name and see what they're tweeting. So here's one of my followers and all of their tweets. So <clears throat> I could go ahead and retweet one of their tweets. Thank you for following me. There's a retweet. <laughs> so uh, that is the Twitter app, basically, uh, in a nutshell. Uh, very nice, <clears throat> very elegant. Uh, you can see here you can post photos uh, to your uh, your tweets through this application. So I have a photo right here. This is my actually my lock screen photo. Um, so I'll import that. It's a very nice photo. <clears throat> Importing a photo through one through the Tweetarama. Hopefully, it doesn't make that a tag or a or a mention. Tweetarama app on Windows 8 is easy. <laughs> so there we are. We'll tweet that, and it'll take a little more time uh, because it has to send upload the image uh, to Twitter, or TwitPic, actually. And we wait for it, wait for it. And it looks like it's sent, here it is. And also appeared on my timeline here, uh, because I am following myself, of course. Uh, so, importing photo through the Twitterama app, 
And when we click on a link, any link, it'll bring you to the Metro Internet Explorer interface. Uh, so I can view that tweet uh, in Internet Explorer, which I'm in now. And uh, here is the image. Oh, it actually used uh, picked at twitter.com, not TwitPic. So Twitter's own. Uh, that's relatively new. I'm not used to that. I think that's relatively new, the Twitter um, picture service uh, powered by Photobucket. Uh, before, I think it defaulted to TwitPic. Uh, anyways, I, I'm not. that's out of my area of expertise, actually. So I'm going to stop talking about that. Don't quote me on any of that. Uh, but that is basically the uh, Twitter application for Windows 8. Um, I don't know if I said this already, but it is a live icon, as you can see. So it will uh, scroll through recent tweets. Um, the live icons are basically icons that update uh, based on the information that they receive. For example, I can uh, see the weather. Um, instead of just this tile saying weather, it actually says the weather. So instead of j this just saying Tweetorama, it says one of my tweets uh, from, not one of my tweets, but from one of the tweets from the p person I'm following. Um, you can view some options by right-clicking anywhere that doesn't have content. Uh, your only two options are refresh and log out. Uh, so those are your options for this application, and that is basically it. It is uh, as easy as that. Um, how, there are a few drawbacks, as I said. You cannot reply to tweets. Uh, also, uh, you would think that in your timeline, if you saw a tweet from, for example, Uber Gizmo, and I wanted to see more tweets from them, if I click on their username, their tweets would pop up over here just as if I were to search them down this list, here they are, and click their username, their tweets appear here. Let's say I'm not on there, say I'm on my timeline, and I see their, that, or this tweet, I'm interested, I'm like, oh, let's see what else they were tweeting. I click it, well, actually it takes me to Internet Explorer. So unfortunately, um, it does not work that well inside of itself, uh, which is kind of strange. Um, you would think they would implement that a little better, that when you click a username, that it would pull up their tweets over here. Uh, and then maybe when you click their username over here, you have nowhere else to go, so maybe it'll take you to Internet Explorer in case you wanted to see their uh, online profile. Um, or maybe like right-clicking the username, you have the option. Would you like to see their tweets over here, or would you like to in or open their profile in Internet Explorer? Um, so that's a little bit of a drawback as well. Not a real big one, though. Um, you cannot find people on here. It's very basic. It's basically like a Twitter reader. Um, it's not more, it's not necessarily a Twitter application uh, because you cannot search for people. You cannot follow people from this application. That all has to be done at twitter.com or uh, when the time comes, if someone makes a Twitter app for Windows 8, um, you may be able to do it for or through that Twitter app. Uh, but the one that they give you, Tweetorama, does not have that functionality. Uh, so there we are. That is the Twitter app for Windows 8. For more Windows 8 coverage, uh, I have a playlist of a bunch of videos uh, all on Windows 8. I'm making a lot of Windows 8 content if you are interested in Windows 8, because who isn't? It's a pre-release, and you want to see, you know, do I really want Windows 8? Do I want to upgrade? Do I want to buy a Windows 8 computer? Uh, these are the questions uh, that a lot of you are scrolling through your mind um, as you are hearing about this weird thing called Windows 8 that you never heard of before. Just watch the videos and you'll get a much better feel for Windows 8. Um, and so then you can better make your decision. Do I want to buy Windows 8? But also let your friends make that decision. Don't just make the decision for yourself. Uh, let your friends see what Windows 8 is like. And you can do just that by sharing this video. There's a nice share button right below the video. And when you click that, you have three convenient buttons to share the video. You can share it through Facebook, Google Plus, or Twitter, uh, which is very nice. Um, just share it with your friends. Don't hog all this knowledge. Uh, also, thumbs up the video if you liked it. That way I know you liked it, and I know to make more videos uh, like this one. I know you like Windows 8 content. Uh, if you didn't like it, well, I'm sorry. Um, just, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll try. I, I make a wide variety of content, actually. Uh, if you don't know much about my channel, we do app reviews and all kinds of, of all good jolly stuff. We do product unboxings. I, I, like, I like to do a lot of app reviews because uh, not a lot of people do good app reviews on YouTube. So I like to uh, do some good app reviews uh, and show people how apps really work, especially paid apps. Uh, before you go out and buy the application. That's a big thing for me. Uh, but I'm just rambling on and on right now. Um, what else am I supposed to say to you? I'm supposed to uh, tell you to subscribe if you liked it because, like I said, we're making a lot more Windows 8 content. And 
that I think I am done. Uh, I mentioned this earlier. I have a blog, Michael, or it's actually not a blog. It's just a conduit to my other websites. It's MikeBen96.com, which is my YouTube handle. Link will be in the description. That brings you to my Google Plus page, my YouTube channel, which you're probably already at, and my, uh, what's the other one, Twitter? Yeah, that's the one we covered in this video, huh? Twitter, yeah, it brings you to my Twitter, so you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, so, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.